It's Wednesday morning, early in the morning. Cat Piss wants me to go with them to Sobeys. Looks like it's gonna be a late start again. Oh, frig. And welcome to my vlog. And welcome to my vlog. things to do in the morning. I really got to learn to say no to my friends. <laughs> oh well, he wants me to come to Sobeys and have a coffee and stuff, so figured I would. So he said he's on his way over to pick me up because I already got into the beers and just gonna have a couple beers, comment on comments, and then go to bed. But it doesn't look like that's happening, so frigate. Well, I think that's him coming up the road now. Let's see here. The mighty two-time zoom of the flip. I think that's him. Sure looks like him. Mm -hmm. Getting the shit out of things. Yeah, freaking cat piss. Freaking guy. Oh, well. let's get in the car. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Oh, look at this guy's mess. Look at this guy. Yeah. Freaking mess everywhere. All right, let's oh, roll. the cash store. Biggest freaking launderer around. Don't ever sink into that money pit. I tell you guys, don't ever do it. It's not worth it. You guys probably can't see me, but we gotta go to Sobeys and then Capus is trying to talk me into McDonald's. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna use willpower. I'm not gonna get McDonald's. Don't worry, I might get a nice coffee, but I'm not getting 28 cheeseburgers. It's not gonna happen. He can eat his face out. I learned my lesson, because we went to McDonald's last night and I didn't tell you guys about it. And then this morning, then all last night, I couldn't get to bed because I was on the toilet all night. And then this morning I woke up, I was back on the toilet. So I am not gonna get McDonald's. You have my word. I'm done with that. I'm not having McDonald's for a long frickin' time. And there goes cat piss. So I told you guys, all I got was a nice coffee. No burgers for me. I'm done with the burgers. I'm off that. Let's go inside. Okay, so I just finished my iced coffee and I'm gonna let the dog out for a leak and all that. And then uh, probably have a cigarette and then call it a night. I wanna get up early tomorrow. I gotta get up early tomorrow. I gotta finish off that Trans Am and get it on the road. Let's friggin' do this. Well. It's like Monday morning. No, it isn't. What the frick am I talking about? It's Wednesday morning now, the next day. Yeah, I haven't gone to bed yet. You're probably also wondering why I'm still wearing my Angry Bird shirt. Well, I have a plan today. I want to get that Trans Am operational. I couldn't sleep last night because of that friggin' iced coffee. That was a stupid move on my part. And uh, I think Felix is trapped in the shedder. Nope, doors is closed for, close for funsies. But yeah, I want to get the Trans Am going, and uh, I want to mow the lawn. I had to think about that one for a minute. Oh my god, my brain is just mush. I couldn't fall asleep last night for the life of me. So I said, frig it, I'm going to get up early. It's just start kicking ass. But what the f... Okay, goofy ass yellow bird just landed on my window. I'm going to go outside for a cigarette. Talk to you guys in a bit. Well, I need some form of food. Ugh, I need to clean off the stove first. It's covered in shit. Clean that off, we'll make some eggs or something. Or, you know what? I feel lazy. Let's make some cereal. That's easier. Yeah, let's go that route. Frig it. Really? Two scoops of raisins? And every package of Kellogg's Raisin Bran? I wonder if that's actually true, if the machines actually have scoops on them, like those that pick up raisins and pour them into the box. I'm going to mail the company and find out. But it does have a very high source of fiber, and apparently I'm low on fiber, so this might be a good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and have some Raisin Bran. Two scoops of Raisin Bran. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. You guys are never going to guess what I did. You went back to bed? Oh. Okay, then maybe you will guess. Yeah, I fell back asleep. Oh, you guys are dirtier than the frig. Don't worry, I cleaned you. Oh, well, we got a choice between Trans Am or Lawn. And seeing how that lawn is a spawning pool of friggin' dandelions, we're gonna tackle the lawn. Gotta get that done. So, let's hammer down, head her outside, get the lawnmower full of gas, crank it up a couple notches, and then smash that lawn. Oh, I'm gonna do it in the GoPro time lapse. So, unfortunately, some things will have to wait. Frig's sakes, really wanted to get this going. Oh well, we'll get her going one day, that's for sure. Let's get that lawnmower figured out. Alrighty, well I jacked up the uh, friggin wheels and uh, loaded her up with fresh gas, but seriously, look at that weed bed, that's dicked. This is gonna take a while, 
even with it jacked up. Oh, I hate doing the lawn. But afterwards, we'll see how much time we have left. Also, uh, got the GoPro here. Oh, I want to take the chute off the side. That's right. Going to make it a mulcher. That's what Dad told me to do. So just mulch from now on. So currently, all I do is lift this up. There, now it's a mulcher. Apparently it's just that easy. So, I don't know why that's leaking gas. The tank's probably under pressure. Whatever. All right, she's just pissing gas everywhere. Look at this. Probably doesn't help that I have it sitting in the sun. Well, we'll get back there and mow that lawn. Let's do it. wondering why I don't do way the hell back there by the tree. It's basically because Oreo doesn't like tall grass. So if the grass gets tall enough, it deters him from going into the neighbor's yard because they cut the trees over there and now Oreo can just walk over there whenever he wants. But holy crap, is it hot out? I'm pushing that mower, it's not making it any easier. But I need a drink, and then we're gonna do the front. So let's get some water. yard's done, but it looks like shit. It's uh, dead. All my lawn's dead. Front yard's dicked. I need some seed, some weed feed. Gotta do some cleaning up. Like, this is all weeds back here. At least it's shorter now, so Oreo won't be so scared to walk out in the lawn and poop, but it's freaking ridiculous. It's all weeds. I'm thinking of buying that Scott's Weed Be Gone. And just hose in the backyard and front yard down with it. Maybe it'll kill it all off. Maybe. Who knows? <sighs> it's just really annoying. Really friggin' annoying. So sick of the weeds. I only got stung twice. Once in the stomach, once in the back, so that's a bonus. Yeah, I ran over a couple dirt dauber uh, friggin' holes there. You saw the mower stop a bunch of sand fly. That's what I was doing. I was kinda hoping they were gonna sneak out and it's gonna zap. Oh well. Well on that note, I need a friggin' shower, because I'm a disgusting mess, so let's go do that. Yeah, and stuff. Huh, <laughs> so tired. I'm all cleaned up. You know, all I gotta do is edit up the morning half of the vlog for the evening, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So I'll talk to you guys when I head off to work. Peace out. Pretty well, the morning half of the vlog is rendering now. I'm going to uh, go make something for a lunch to bring to work with me. Try and cut back on spending and stuff and there's my lunch box so I'm gonna go ahead and pack some food here and then we'll head her off to work so let's rock and roll oh, lunch champions we got a kimchi bowl two sandwiches love these Crayola containers for sandwiches and some mini carrots there was just a little bit left in the bag so I just threw the bag in there frigate so I'll be eating like a king tonight but we gotta go we gotta head off to work so uh, I'll talk to you guys in the car see you there holy shit guys it's like a sauna in this car God, the AC works. Just gotta wait for it to chill the air and then we're good. Oh, I love air conditioning. I know it's probably not the best for you, but frig, does it ever feel nice on the skin? So, I don't know how many people out there noticed, but uh, yesterday I did a little shout out for it's Evelyn Gonzalez, 
and that's actually something I'm going to start doing daily is uh, giving shout outs and stuff because uh, yeah I want to help people I want to help people grow the thing is, is I'm not just going to give anybody a shout out the way it works is like if I watch you and put out videos that I like watching and I feel that you need more subscribers or whatever you know I'm going to give you a shout out so you know like if you want to get into vlogging and you just started up a channel and you haven't even posted a video yet please do not request a shout out because I got nothing to really say about your channel you got to make a couple videos at least 10 videos first so I can watch them get to know you and talk about you like for instance the guy I'm gonna give a shout out to today mr. one Bubba Mike one I'm not sure what city he lives in I know it's in the US somewhere and he feels my pain. He's going to watch today's video and go, Yup, that was me a couple days ago, or that was me yesterday, mowing my freaking lawn. I know that for a fact. Except for he likes to use the electric mowers. I think he likes to keep it green, I don't know. But, um, yeah, he's got a... He, his lawn makes my lawn look pathetically small. Like, his backyard's ridiculous compared to mine. But he does have a luxury I don't have. He's got a riding tractor, however he has to use a push mower in a certain area due to a big hill. Which would be the same situation with me. If I were to buy a riding lawn tractor, I would still need a push mower for certain locations. Because A, the tractor wouldn't get there. And B, even if it did get there, it would topple over and kill me. So, they had a gas mower and the gas mower basically bit the farm. You know, shit the bed, whatever you want to say. So, he was on the hunt and he found a, a used electric one. Battery operated jobby. I think it runs on 18 volts. And he picked that up and, ah, it looks like it does a pretty good job. Like, just slot the battery in it, pull the lever down, and it just starts ripping the shit out of the grass. So, can't go wrong with that. But I like his videos because you never know what you're going to get day to day. One day he could be talking about, you know, mowing the lawn or doing chores or... Then the next day, he goes on a rant about different things, like his uh, wife and kid wanting uh, new cell phones and stuff, and, you know, sometimes he has fun talking to a squirrel. He does a little voiceover, like, like when Felix and I get into a rant. Well, he gets into a rant with a squirrel. You know, just different things. He also likes to add some, well, he used to do a lot of special effects in his vlogs, where he'd clone himself and make himself teleport and stuff like that. But then he realized that special effects in a vlog, uh, it's 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 kind of rough. And holy crap, Billy, take it easy with the text messages. But freaking guys texting the ball bag off me. But um, yeah, one Bubba Mike one. His link will be in the description if you want to check him out. I like his videos. He's another daily vlogger kind of sorta. He doesn't really do like me where I mark every day as like day one, two, three, four, five, and consecutive. He basically just puts out a video, titles it, and smashes it up to YouTube and. The title says it all, you know. You know, he might skip a day here and there, but he's not a daily vlogger. He's just a video maker. And I like his videos. They're basically reality entertainment, and I like that kind. So basically, that's what I'm going to start doing, guys. I'm going to try and help out the people who are trying hard to uh, make content on YouTube, but just don't seem to be getting the exposure. I know I'm not the biggest YouTuber out there, but uh, if I can help out a little bit, then I'll sleep better at night. That's the way I see it. Who am I kidding? I won't sleep better at night. <laughs> well, tonight I might, because I didn't get much sleep last night, so as long as Cat Piss doesn't call me at, like, friggin' 12.30 a.m. again and want to go do cheeseburger picnics. Gotta learn to say no for frig's sakes. Gotta get my beauty sleep, because today I'm uglier than frig. Holy crap, the heat really brings out the short shorts and the girls, eh? Damn! Peanut butter and jam! Green eggs and ham! Salami and spam! You know, oh, well, you probably don't, but you know, maybe not. Cause every day I'm vlogging. <sighs> Thank God we got the AC at the office. I love it because the vent's right over my desk, so when it kicks on high gear, it's like a blast of winter air just smashing into me, and it's like, oh, it feels so good. And then you come in from like the, right now it's plus 30 out, so you come in from the plus 30, and you hit the central air, and it's about maybe 15 degrees in the office, so it's like, it's like a shock to the system, but in a good way. It feels friggin' awesome, I love it. So yeah, one other thing I want to try and start doing, um... 
I want to get off the cheeseburger picnics. I got to stop going to Rotten Ronnie's and eating that shit. Obviously, it's not doing me any favors except for, you know, the time it takes to get food hyphenated. Ooh, you know, it's not real food, it's more like faux food. But, um, I gotta stop doing that. I also wanna start slowing down and stopping on my pop intake. Still gotta watch the caffeine levels though, because if I let them get too low, then I slip into uh, headaches of caffeine withdrawal. So, gotta make sure I take in my caffeine. But, um, you know, there's other ways to get caffeine, like coffee and teas and stuff like that. But I gotta quit drinking the soda pop, because that shit's not doing me any favors. Alrighty, while well, I'm at work, so I'm going to shut this feed down and head her inside and I'll talk to you guys on my break. So until then, peace out. Oh, so it's like 5.30 break. Definitely came out for a cigarette. I've never had this many tickets in all my life working here. Friggin' 20 tickets. All because of a something went down on the weekend and it kind of messed up the program a bit. Caused a lot of problems. And today was a day where they wanted to uh, check to see if everybody was back up and running. Oh look, shade. I'm gonna go stand in the shade. Seems like a smart thing to do when you're wearing all black because you don't own it. Because you don't own any white shirts. You're dumb like that. So, yeah. Sure enough, friggin' uh, had all a bunch, a bunch of tickets and a bunch of other things to do and luckily today is my, uh, my last day of being prime until uh, next week. Well, theoretically on the weekend too, I guess. So not a big deal. All in all, I'm pretty tired right now. Might have to go make a coffee or 12. Wake the frig up. You know, running on three hours of sleep and mowing that lawn. Yeah, my body's like all shaky just standing here. So if the camera footage is a little shaky, I do apologize. Just the way she goes. But at least we got the lawn mode, so we should be good for another week, maybe, maybe not, depending on if we ever get any frickin' rain. You know, we desperately need some drink for the lawn. What I need to do is get a tap located on the side of the house so I can run a sprinkler system out to the front yard and water the living shit out of it. Because, uh... You know, my buddy runs an excavation company. I guess that's landscaping. Yeah, we'll go landscape. And like he said, you can't drown grass. He goes, you can drown weeds and you can drown bugs that kill grass, but you can't drown grass. And if you keep your lawn damp a lot, bugs will just migrate from your lawn and move to another lawn, which is why I have all those ants because my lawn is super dry. So they find it a great place to make anthills. So like for instance, this lawn here, it's super dry. And look, you can see sand, perfect breeding ground for freaking ants. They're gonna make anthills everywhere around here. If this was super wet, that probably wouldn't happen. But my problem is, is the hose is located midway on the cement slab in the backyard and it doesn't reach around to the front yard. Even if I wanted to water the front yard, I can't unless I attach more hoses together and do like a super daisy chain effect. Oh, uh, just a pain in the ass. And then I might be able to water the front lawn. But uh, as it stands now with my current setup, it's not possible, it's not gonna happen. So that's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's the way she goes, I guess. Oh well, whatever, not a big deal. We'll come up for, with a solution for that and get everything all, all fixed up. But I uh, definitely want to de-weed the front yard. Again, I want to hit it with some sort of a de-weeder. And I was thinking this Saturday of going to Canadian Tire, they got a deal, they got a deal where if you buy a um, one of those spreaders, you get a free big bag of grass seed, the Scott shit. So I might buy one of those. And um, also uh, get the bag of grass seed and then hose down the lawn, like big times and then lay down the grass seed and lay down the weed and feed and all that. And uh, maybe, just maybe, we might be able to get a front lawn out of this. Could be awesome. So the girlfriend's been bugging the living shit out of me about playing Diablo. I swear every time I talked to her today, I was like, she's like, so, D3? I'm like, no, I don't got it. I was up mowing the lawn, didn't have time. Oh, and then I'm like, well, I'm gonna edit the vlog and head to work, well, the morning part. She's like, oh, D3? And I'm like, no, I don't have it yet. She's like, oh. And then she kind of like waits for a minute and like pauses and ponders and everything goes silent. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she's like, oh, and uh, D3? I'm like, no, I don't have it. Sure enough, I get the work, hop on MSN right away. D3? <sighs> I'm like, why don't you buy it for me? She goes, oh, I was thinking about buying it for you, but I wasn't sure if you were going to play it. Well, if you want me to play it, buy it for me and I'll play it. You know, I don't know how I'm going to like it. Probably going to get super addicted to it. And you're going to notice in the vlogs that uh, there's not as much video footage in the day. And you'll understand why. It's because the girlfriend got me hooked on a friggin' MMORPG. Well, I guess it's not really an MMORPG, but she got me hooked on a video game. And uh, I'll end up playing the ball bag out of that and I'll forget to do things. Like her. <laughs> She's uh, <laughs> she was supposed to do groceries. And actually last night she was up pretty late because she had to do laundry. And she forgot about her laundry because she was so busy playing Diablo 3 that she forgot 
forgot to freaking go and put her laundry uh, put her laundry on. So I got home at midnight and she's like, it's already midnight? I'm like, yeah. She's like, this game's a time vampire. I'm like, well, yeah, all Diablos are. They're also mouse killers. And she's like, uh, that means I've been playing this like all night. And I'm like, really? So you didn't do anything? She's like, no, I just played Diablo 3 and watched TV and stuff. And like, holy shit, like, <laughs> that's hardcore. She's like, oh, I gotta do laundry. I got no clothes for tomorrow. And so she ended up just staying up to like two o'clock in the morning. Had to do laundry and all that. And I was like, wow. She's hooked. Hooked on the D3. So, told her. She wants me to play it. Get it for me. So we'll see tonight if I go home and I have Diablo 3 sitting on my desk. That'd be kind of funny. But any hoozle, I should head her back inside and uh, carry on with the night. It's pretty busy in there. So, right the frig on. And yeah, like I said, she's going to Anime North on the weekend. So, we'll see what we get into on the weekend. Probably going to be a lot of lawn maintenance and other things. I got to do some research and stuff. So, on that note, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Holy shit, am I tired? It's like 8 o'clock and I'm out of steam sitting there at my desk, friggin' nodding off and stuff. And oh, it's just not a good sign or good scene, even. <laughs> so I get a text message from the girlfriend. She's like, beat Diablo on, on uh, nightmare mode. So I think she has like two more modes left to go hell and then hardcore, maybe. So yeah, she's playing it way too much. I don't even know what happens after that. Like, once you beat it on hell, is there any sort of content you can DLC and play more? Or I don't know. Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. Seems like a game where I don't know if I'd really enjoy it or not. I don't know. I probably would, but I don't know. <laughs> but uh, so far, yeah, I'm really out of juice. I haven't made any coffee or anything. I just can't stay awake. So I figured I'd come outside for some fresh air and walk around and talk. But, uh, so far, uh, it's slowed down a little bit tonight, so that's a bonus. And uh, we definitely need some rain. If those clouds would just burst open. You know, what rained down on the city. Maybe we can clean up some of this grass. Speaking of cleaning up some of this grass, somebody hasn't been mowing the grass. Oh, that's gonna be hell. Hell to clean up. Seems they only do in front of the building and around the building. They don't come out here and do this part anymore. They used to. Oh, duh. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what to talk about. It's pretty decked. Tonight I can definitely say that I'm going straight home and straight to bed. I'm done. Tomorrow, I got nothing in my way. So maybe if I go to bed right away when I get home, I'll be up early enough tomorrow where I can plug away on that Trans Am and get that thing all situated and figured out. Maybe get it into the oil shop and get the oil dropped and replaced and all that jazz. And then we can drive the ball bag off of it. Frig yeah. It'd be nice. It would be nice. I'm super pooped. I got frig all left to talk about. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. Call her quits for tonight. Carry on again tomorrow. So... You know the wretched routine. If you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. Once again, don't forget to check the description. Any links I mentioned will be down there. Plus links to the Facebook, the Twitter, and all that junk. So be sure to check the description. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.